Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Locos. Yesterday I went to my local train store and on the shelf they had a pair of Williams by Bachman uh, Baldwin Shark Nose Diesels in the Pennsylvania livery in Tuscan Red. Uh, these are, let me grab my notes here so I can get everything right. Okay, let's see. So, this is known formally as the Baldwin RF-16. It was made from November 1950 to May of 1953. There were 160 of them produced. Two of them remain. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that it looks like they are un uneconomical to restore because of broken crankshafts. That's unfortunate. Uh, they were built for a maximum of 65 miles an hour with 1,625 horsepower per unit. This one is a powered A and a dummy A. But when I got home, I found out I got more than I had bargained for. And that is... They came with an ERR sound card already installed. Isn't that a beautiful horn for a conventional train? So these are just plain Jane conventional. Uh, the engine that is to the right is the power unit. The one to the left is the dummy. Let's go ahead and go around the uh, track and pick up some rolling stock. Haha, <laughs> success. This is a really good runner. As you can see, it pulls quite well with a decent sized train. And being that it was originally for passenger service, it actually is quite a speedy little unit. I'm quite happy with it. Now, unfortunately, as is uh, normal with tubular and long train running fast, it does get just a wee bit loud in these here parts. I'm really happy with this. Ever since I first saw the uh, shape of the shark nose, it's been on my long-term want list, and to just find them there at the price that I was willing to pay was just really sweet. Let's go ahead and light up the rest of the layout. Let's bring in my uh, Williams SD45s that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, as well as the MTH Boys Pacific. So we've got some beautiful trains running tonight. Let's uh, go on to this other side so we can get a really good overall view of the whole setup. Oh, and by the way, in testing last night, I was I ran the uh, the sharks on my inner loop to see how they did on the reversing using uh, Lionel 022 switches and it navigates those switches faultlessly. I am quite thrilled by this purchase and I think that uh, it will give us all here on the layout quite a few uh, times of significant enjoyment. So with that, this is the Stony Creek and Poor Valley Railroad signing off.
Have a great day.